a personal favourite genre of mine, a black and white Finnish comedy about an amateur boxer who's having an existential crisis. Like The Transfiguration, this popped up at Cannes last year completely um, from, from, from previously unknown roots. It actually went on to win the Prix en Certain Regard, which is a prestigious prize there. It's based on a true story. Nothing about the film would make you think it was based on a true story, which I think is one of its, uh, its great strengths. It's a, one of sport's great nearly men, Oli Mackie, who was known, uh, he's an amateur boxer who turned pro in Finland, and he was known as the baker of uh, Coca-Cola. Now, not for any sinister reasons, it's because he was actually a baker in Coca-Cola, and he just happened to do a bit of boxing on the side. He's presented with this opportunity uh, to uh, fight the, um, uh, now, I wrote this down because I'm going to get it wrong. It's the, uh, the, World Boxing Association, the World Boxing Association Championship fight against the reigning champion. This, is, this match is going to take place in Helsinki. It's going to be this glorious sporting event that everyone can kind of come along, cheer on the home guy. And basically, Oli Mackie, when confronted with the reality of this fight, begins to wonder if he actually wants to go through with it at all. It follows his preparations in terms of not just the, the training. He has this agonising struggle to get down to the required featherweight, body weight in order to participate in the bout. But there are also these kind of ambassadorial duties. He has to turn up to dinners and shake hands with a lot of people. Um, he has to take part in advertising things, you know, look like this well-dressed poster boy and everything. And the, the, the guy, the actor who plays him, um, an actor called uh, Jarko Lati, who I've never seen before, um, a Finnish actor, he kind of has this mix of Klaus Kinski and David Hyde Pierce that he can fluctuate <laughs> between, you know, basically as required. And it is just the perfect characterization for this character. His, his uh, manager, Ellis as well, becomes increasingly but quite subtly exasperated at his client's inability to really engage with the ceremony of this great fight that's coming up. He would actually rather just spend time with his uh, with, with his girlfriend. It was shot in 16 millimeter black and white film with this really beautiful rich grain, mostly in sequence shots, which are basically when the camera is moving around the scene as it plays out and the camera movements are sort of in place of edits. So you have this this idea that you're really present at what's going on background detail like children playing can suddenly become a key part of the scene with a little move of the camera. The, the craft of it is completely beautiful. The performances are incredibly charming and naturalistic. And this idea that these humorous things going on in the background are almost as important to the story as the story itself is perfectly in keeping with Ollie Mackey's own view of his how his life has contrived to work around to this position and whether it's the direction in which he wants it to go at all.